Hey guys, so it's Monday. Um, it's July, I don't even know, July 25th. And um, hey, come back here. And I'm out in the yard testing out a new camera. It's a little windy, as you can tell. It's a little windy out. Um, last week we were up at Teen Valley Ranch. It was an amazing week. God so did so many things. And so many people grew so much closer to God. And, and that's why we do camp. And so um, I missed you all last week, but the service there is not the best. And well, we were just really, really busy doing camp stuff. So I didn't get to stream any, but I wanted to stream today. Um, I wanted to come and talk to you today about God's happy little nest. It was a devotion that I was reading. Um, and it was talking about how it's based on um, it's based on the verse Psalm 133 1 and it says how good and pleasant it is when we live together in unity and that is so true when we live together in unity our campers this week learned that sometimes it's not easy to live together in unity but when we love one another we work together to make it right and so my devotion today said a nest is a cozy warm place for birds and you know how i love my birds right the wind is tearing my hair up y'all sorry um and we have our sweet happy home where we live with our family right and there's usually more than one bird in the nest right how many people live in your house do you sometimes not always agree do you sometimes disagree on things well see the thing is is when we love one another we have to learn to agree to disagree you know um, birds have to learn how to share space in their nest just like we do we have to learn to share space in our nest maybe some of you share a room with your brothers and sisters pretty tight quarters right um, sometimes when I go to conferences, I'll share a room with a friend. Um, one of the other ladies may be speaking in the conference. We have to learn how to share space. When me and Mr. Stephen got married, I had lived by myself for a very long time. I had to learn how to share space. It's true. And so, unity helps us to live peacefully together. See, when me and Mr. Stephen got married, if if we hadn't worked to learn how to share our space, well, our marriage wouldn't be very good with it. If you and your siblings are always fighting over space, well, there's not gonna be peace in your house, right? No, when your mom and dad got married, grown folks, when you got married, you know what I'm talking about, about sharing space, right? Sharing bathrooms, <laughs> sharing space in the kitchen. Sometimes it can be trying, but it's so worth it. So I'm gonna read this verse to you again. How good and pleasant it is when we live together in unity. And again, that's Psalm 133, um, verse one, chapter 133, verse one. So I hope that blesses you today and encourages you to live together in unity. You know, it's a choice. It really is. We can choose to try to live together in unity or, well, we can not, and then we don't have peace in our family. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather have peace in the family, hadn't you? And sometimes that means us having to do things that we don't really want to do. Sometimes it means that we have to make a choice that really wasn't what we wanted. But the choice is up to us. Do we want to have peace or do we not? And so I encourage you today, um, maybe you're the one that's got to give a little extra today. Maybe you're the one that's maybe got to go out of your way to give the other person a little more space so that you can have peace and unity in your home. See, when families love one another, they work together. In our marriages, we have to work together in our friendships, we have to work together. And you know, I had a wise old man tell me one time, girl, ain't no marriage 
It's $25.75 all the time. Somebody's always got to give a little more. And that is so true. That is so true. So hey, today, whatever you're dealing with, if you're the one that's got to give the 75, well, give it if it means having unity. Again, that verse, Psalm 133, 1, how good and pleasant it is when you live together in unity. So hey, make room in your nest. Be the one to scooch over a little bit if you need to make extra room for your sibling or, or for your spouse or for your friend that's coming for a sleepover. Sometimes friends crouch in on our space, right? It's a choice. It's a choice. Do we want to give a little extra to have peace and unity? I try to remind myself of that sometimes <laughs> when I'm feeling a little overcrowded, right? I try to remind myself that, well, the choice is mine. So, be the one to go the extra mile, all right? Hey, let's pray together. Father God, thank you so much for this day. God, thank you for your reminder that it's just so much more pleasant when we can all get along and be unified and, and live in unity. And Father, today, if some of my friends are the ones that are having to go out of their way, maybe make that extra step to, to keep peace within their family, Lord, I pray that they'll be willing to do that. And Lord, I thank you for the reminder for myself today. Lord, I ask that you be with all of those who are traveling on vacations, Lord, and bring them back to us soon. And, and Lord, just um, I pray that we all will be reminded to shine for you this week. That when we have to go the extra mile, or maybe we need to do something that's a little uncomfortable, but to be your hands and feet, Lord, we know that sometimes we have to do that. And Lord, I just, I pray that myself and others will, will be willing to take that extra step just so people can see your love shine through us. Lord, I thank you for a great week at camp. And, and Lord, I thank you that we're all back home safe. And, and Lord, I just thank you for lives that have been changed because of the trip we made. And, and Lord, I pray for lives to be changed here on the Crystal Coast because of the way we love one another. I pray for lives to be changed around the world because of how your children love you and, and how they show your love to other people. So Lord, start in us so that we can reach far and reach wide so that other people may know you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, that's our devotion for today. I will see you back here again on Wednesday. Have a good evening. There's my kissing hand. Bye.